Hello and welcome. Well, it's time for you guys to keep all your work aside and tune in to your favorite show in the Middle East that brings to you the most happening updates in town. I am your every bar ki host and those Priya, and today we are shooting at this beautiful penthouse at JW Marriott Marquis Dubai. So let's start today's episode with our question of the day, which is sports related, but cricket related. But for all the men who are getting excited about this. Women, let's buck up and show the men ki hum bhi kuch kam nahi. Well, you have to tell me where and when was the first ICC T20 tournament held. The question sun ke to aap samaj hi gaye honge ki aaj ki updates mein cricket se related ek bada update hai. So stay tuned in for that and for the answer to this question. We're time to move to our first story of the week and this is about the event Bharat Meri Shaan jo hua is saal ek baar phir se at the Indian High School Dubai. bringing together some great musicians and singers such as Dalit Aziz, Deepak Pandit and was hosted by none other than the popular Anu Kapoor. Let me show you some highlights from the evening. वेलकम अनु जी एक बार फिर से दुबई में खुशी की बात है और भारत मेरी शान जो, जो आज दूसरी बार इस साल हो रहा है आ, इंडियन हाई स्कूल में आप होस्ट करने वाले हैं ये शो तो पूरा प्रोग्राम आपको क्या लगता है कैसा होने वाला है आज भारत तो भारत के अगर भा र और ता की बात करें तो भाव रस और ताल तो जहाँ भारत है वहाँ संगीत है नृत्य है मनोरंजन है तो मुझे एक चीज़ बताइए कि सिंगिंग का करियर क्यों नहीं आपने कभी सीरियसली परस्यू किया जिस फिल्म इंडस्ट्री ने लता मंगेशकर आशा भोसले मन्ना डे मोहम्मद रफी किशोर कुमार तलत महमूद मुकेश महेंद्र कपूर इतने बड़े बड़े सिंगर दिए हों मुझे ऐसा लगता है कि मैं अपना टाइम वेस्ट करता <laughs> जो भी गाने लायक चीज़ें थी इन सब लोगों ने बहुत अच्छी तरह से गाली हैं और हिंदुस्तान ने हमेशा बड़े बड़े कलाकार प्रोड्यूस किए हैं हमेशा बड़े बड़े एक्टर प्रोड्यूस किए हैं नर्तक प्रोड्यूस किए हैं और नेता प्रोड्यूस किए हैं उसमें कहीं हिंदुस्तान पीछे नहीं रहा हिंदुस्तान ने बहुत कम पेट्रियॉट प्रोड्यूस किए मैंने कहा उस उस कैटेगरी में मैं शामिल हो जाता हूँ चलिए ठीक है थैंक यू थैंक थैंक यू यू सो सो मच मच फॉर बीइंग विद अस जी धन्यवाद जय हिंद बंदे मातरम सो हियर वी आर विद गजल माइस्ट्रो तलत अजीजी वेलकम तलत टू जी कनेक्ट सीजन सिक्स थैंक यू वेरी मच आई एम बैक अगेन आफ्टर अ मंथ That's what I was going to say. We are seeing you again. We are so happy to see you back in Dubai. Uh, I'm very, very happy that I was asked to come as a guest. And today, for you, I will tell you one thing: that I'm doing something uh, out of what I normally do. I'm, I'll be singing my uh, couple of my um, popular numbers as well as I'm going to start with something. Great. So we are looking forward to that. For the same, thank you so much, Salaji. We look forward to your performance tonight. Thank you for being with us. You're welcome. प्यारे वतन है मेरे बिछड़े चमन तुझ पे दिल कुर्बान unique and different experience of watching TV celebrities perform live in front of you well i get the same kind of feeling when i watch a theater play or recently si ek play called sandhya chaya hua at the indian consulate dubai well, it's about an old couple jo apne bachcho se alag rehte hain aur sari umar isi ummeed mein nikal dete hain ki kab unke bacche aakar unka akela pan dur karenge aur unke burhape ka sahara banenge let me show you a few glimpses of this one Okay, 
we're going on stage now uh, it's a play which is very close to my heart because uh, uh, when i first read the story uh, it was uh, it, it touched me because uh, i live alone my parents live in india i just hope that everybody gets touched by it when we perform thank you this is uh, this is neil he's he's playing a character uh, who comes down from uh, america who's who's a friend of my son who's a doctor there uh, he's uh, going to get some good news for us yeah that's uh, arubhai the director of the play and the inspiration behind us doing everything he's he's like uh, he's like the father figure for us he is playing the the sutradhar please meet my better half who uh, always <laughs> fights with me and uh, throughout he fights with me no no she fights with me <laughs> trust me and you'll see that this is my son who's been absconding for 8 years and he's finally arrived hum hai darvesh kahan ilm hunar rakhte hain lakh behosh sahi teri khabar rakhte hain wah wah sahab wah wah hello ha beta kaise ho theek ho papa aap kaise hain beta bada dil karta hai re tujhe dekhne ko kab aayega wapas इंडिया के करूँ क्या वहाँ रखा ही क्या है तेरे माँ और बाबा हिंदुस्तान में ही रहते हैं ओफो मम्मा आप समझती क्यों नहीं मैं तो सब समझती हूँ पर तुझे हमारे दुख समझ नहीं आते आई थिंक मैनेज टू कैच द होल प्ले रिलेटेड टू द कैरेक्टर्स इन सम ऑफ दी अदर वे आई थिंक दे गेव आउट रियली इंपॉर्टेंट एंड वेरी नाइस मैसेज टू दी ऑडियंस अब जिन्हें भी अपने माँ बाप या अपने बच्चों को कॉल लगाना है Please go ahead while I come back from a short break. Keep watching Z Connect season 6. Welcome back. So like I said at the beginning of the show, it's time for our big cricket update. MCL ya Masters Champions League Cricket Academy was recently launched at Dubai College and it was attended by legendary batsman Brian Lara along with top international cricketers Ijaz Ahmed and Abdul Razak let's take you straight to the MCL open day to see it all hi guys i'm zafar shah introducing a cricket academy MCL in dubai college we picked the dubai college for the reason the kids can be approached easily we want to train youth to the cricket is to the basic where is the youngsters of 6 years onward can come and train with our legends which which participated in mcl cricket tournament such as brian lara ejaz ahmed abdul razak they are they will be present on their day today because we have a fun fair mela here today really new project and uh, it's good for the youngster so become a those who want to become a good cricketer so i hope it it will be good platform for them so we are here to coach them my association with mcl uh, as a head coach i'm uh, i'm going to join them you know uh, well i joined today you know and uh, hopefully i my task which is i have given to me zafar bhai that's i have to uh, make good professional cricketers from this academy and hopefully um, in a in a couple of years you will see hopefully we will produce player and i'm going to do hard work this is my task aur main samajhta hu ki yahan pe dubai college mein ab cricket jo hai wo isliye academy khulni chahiye thi ke hame ab jo uae ki team hai wo qualify kar gayi hai world cup ke liye bhi on under 19 ke liye bhi to ab jo hai wo players ka jo cricketers khel rahe hain wo ab jo hai na unme zyada shauk zyada pada unme and hopefully they gonna make it and they gonna play for uae team Hi. 
Um, of course, being a part of the MCL last year, the, the Masters uh, League, um, and a very close association with Zafra Khan. I think he's got great ideas. First of all, having the Masters League and trying to introduce something that should be taken forward. Now, this uh, Cricket Academy is going to be something special. I think one of the most important things that we really want to have is to have the UAE kids playing cricket. The UAE kids interacting a lot more with international cricketers, be it present or former, and even their coaches. And with this, you have an opportunity to produce more cricketers and the UAE maybe even be in a better team. So I see myself coming here very regularly to play a very, very big, big and important part. And I hope that other international cricketers can do that. Thank you. Where you get a chance to spot world famous cricketers and movie stars in Dubai, sometimes you also get to see beauty queens in town. Well, I'm not talking about this, I'm just Well, jokes aside, I am talking about Miss Supranational Srinidhi Shetty, who was recently in town, and we got a chance to catch up with her to find out all about her recent title win. Let's go check it out. Welcome, Srinidhi, to Dubai, and a huge welcome to Z Connect Season 6. Thank you very much, Priya. Thank you. You're the new Miss Supranational 2016. So that's what I was going to ask you. How does it feel? You've actually represented India globally. And it's because of you that India is actually getting this title second time in three years. What's the feeling like? It feels great. Um, the journey that, which started from Miss Diva and then Miss Supranational, it was a worth taking journey. It was like a roller coaster ride. Uh, and the feeling of getting crowned because this was always been my dream. I've been watching Sushmita Sen, Priyanka Chopra, Lara Dutta, Ashwari Rai getting, you know, the crowning ceremony and all that. Finally, when I was there on the stage, uh, me and Miss Venezuela, so it was amazing. The feeling was so great that I'm not only representing myself, I've been representing 1.2 billion people, you know, back in my country, India. So, yeah, it feels great. Like I said, like you've made India win it for the second time in three years now. I mean, was it like like you said that you had been watching all these pageants and you'd been seeing people being crowned from India and you always had this dream. So that dream started at a very early age, I believe. Yes, it, it did. So um, I don't remember the age exactly, but then I remember watching 1994 Miss World where I sure I got crowned. And uh, since then, I've been watching this these videos on YouTube like, million times. I, I, I've watched it but still I go, I watch them. I keep I keep looking at them that moment when they got crowned and uh, preliminaries and question answer round. The, just it, my desire for pageants and winning these pageants, it just went on becoming stronger and stronger. And um, I read somewhere that this uh, pageant which happened in Poland uh, is a little different from other pageants wherein where, when the finalists are together the jury doesn't ask them the final questions, the finalists asking each other the question. Oh, and that happened this time, for the very first time. First time, yeah. okay, okay, so you were the one who this thing was experimented on. On us, on our batch. Usually it is the same thing, the jury asks you the question, the top five or top six. This time they wanted a different, um, altogether a different show, so what it was a, it was actually a surprise. So what they did was, once the top five contestant was called, and then they told that let's just change the whole thing. The jury is not asking you the questions. Um, you know, each other, the contestants, it's a, they you know they are asking questions to each other. The spur of the moment, you have to just think up a question and ask the other finalist. Yeah. It just... Wow. So what was asked to you and then what did you ask the other finalist? Tell me both the questions. Yeah, so for me, um, Miss Venezuela, she was on the right side. So she asked me the question and her question was, um, tell me one thing, what was that thing that you would you know, cherish forever from this journey, Miss Supranational. And my question to Miss Surina was, uh, what uh, what a man can learn from women and what a woman can learn from man. Okay, lovely. So, so your future has been set. You're already going to star in a movie, a South Indian movie. Yeah, so that's coming up next. Amazing. Can you tell us a bit about the movie? So apparently this movie is um, a period drama set in 1970s. 
so it's all about 80s and 70s the story of a businessman and about the gold mining which was a very famous place in india which is called kgf kolar gold fields which for a decade they had amazing gold mining and all that so story of that businessman and i'm the lead actress perfect that's amazing so uh, srinidhi you've been an engineer yeah electrical and electronics engineer that's amazing that's beauty with brains <laughs> So um do you have any plans of going getting back to engineering at any point in life or you want to continue Um uh, actually I finished my engineering and I was in Accenture working for almost 2 years as a software engineer So even there when I was working um I I never wanted to be there but yeah that that's the way it is you finish your you know studies and you search for a job uh so that's how it's been with me also but then i always felt stuck that no i'm not satisfied here and i was doing modeling parallelly because that's what i wanted walking on the ramp and doing all the kinds that i wanted to do so yes then i realized that there's no point staying here and working so i quit now this is what i wanted now i don't want to go back to that that's amazing you should always follow your dreams and we are really glad to see you following yours so we wish you all the best for your future and thank you so much for being with us trinidhi Thanks a lot. And after all these fun-filled updates, I've still got some more buzz from your city lined up just for you. But ek chote se break ke baad, so stay tuned. Welcome back. Well, you ain't get thandi ke mausam mein logon ko ek cheez aajkal karna bahut pasand hai. Well, yes, they love doing brunches. And if brunch is done with a cause, then maza ho jata hai dugna. Well, recently a family brunch was organized at Al Badia Golf Course, and I'm taking you straight there to experience all the fun that went down at the event. Take a look. Saini Hirji. I've been lived in Dubai for 16 years, and I started here under the banner of Sheikh Ahmed bin Zayed Al Maktoum. But with the changes now, we become friends of Emirates Red Crescent and also uh, friends of Rashid Pediatric Therapy Center. We used to be Children Hope Foundation. Now we are friends of Emirates Red Crescent, and we are a committee of 11 members. And with their help, we are able to do three functions a year. Now what we do is we have many projects. Emirates Red Crescent, Rashid Pediatric Therapy Center, and also other projects around the world. So we look after all the disadvantaged children around the world. The event today is thanks to Al Badia Golf Clubs. They have been very hospitable, and we are expecting today 300 children. But as you can see, it's mostly for children to enjoy. And um, so you know, we are very thankful to be able to do this good work in Dubai, because Dubai, as you know, is a very good community, and they always help us with the children and everything. Okay, so this is the third year we've done this picnic, and as you can see, we have a fantastic turnout and some amazing food. The proceeds go to help various children's charities, as well as the Emirates Red Crescent. They do some amazing work here with children, and it's lovely to see such a fantastic turnout again this year. God has been kind; the weather is excellent, and I'm sure everybody's having a fantastic time. the picnic at Al Badia it's a fantastic event it's a wonderful day with clear blue sky the weather is just perfect and i Amazing think all, food. i think they've done a great job with the food everything is cooked to perfection I'm Owen. I'm from London, and this is the first uh, sit-down picnic by, uh, brunch I've been to. And the work here by the Ladies Charity Group has been great—a really great event supporting children and charities. The 
की बात निकली ही है तो इन आर लास्ट स्टोरी ऑफ द वीक लेट मी टेक यू टू दिस थ्री डे फूड फेस्टिवल कॉल द कपा चक्का कांधारी दैट वॉज हेल्ड एट द शाहजा एक्सपो सेंटर एंड वॉज ऑर्गेनाइज बाई यूफोरिया इवेंट्स वेल इट वॉज एन इवेंट दैट हैड ओवर अ हंड्रेड ऑथेंटिक केरलाइट डिशेज तो इनका एक्सपीरियंस लेना है तो चलिए मेरे साथ Hi my name is Ranjit uh from Euphoria Events we at Euphoria Events have brought a very unique uh, authentic traditional kerala cuisine to the UAE for the first time what it brings to UAE for the first time is the traditional authentic food that we used to have back home in India which as expats we've all forgotten the taste of it so it's a very proud moment for us to bring something which all of us have been waiting for at this food festival we have 14 counters we're bringing in 101 dishes from almost all parts of kerala right from north to the south so what you can expect at this food festival is all traditional authentic food from kerala raw materials coming from kerala the the mix and the cooks coming in right from our home homeland we've come here actually as uh, as a family and we're really enjoying it because it's uh, it's all dishes from our hometown and uh, basically i am from uh, the north malabar region and there are a lot of dishes that are catering to our taste so we're really enjoying it lot of things is here and i taste it uh, for uh, many items uh, kappa and this all curries different type fish everything is very fantastic tasty so this is uh, my life i am the first time is tasting like this it's like a homely food Hi friends what has motivated us to come to a place other than uh, uh, Kerala uh, like you know we are we are here now in Dubai we have done it in uh, Chennai we have done it in Bangalore so this is what what we are trying to do is recreate the kind of food what you what people have been missing out uh, when they were young when they were living when they were grown up in Kerala what your mother or your, your grandmother what used to make for you we are trying to make sure that you get the all the food and the with the right kind of ingredients uh, in in wherever you are now That's it for this week's updates but before I take your leave I'm going to answer today's question of the day So the question was where and when was the first ICC T20 cricket tournament held The answer is 2007 in South Africa And I hope most of you women out there got it right too. मेरे यहाँ से जाते ही आपको पता है आपको क्या करना है Keep messaging us on our Facebook page या फिर keep tweeting on our Twitter handle. I'm going to see you next week again with all the things that you love to know about your city. Until then, this is me Priya signing off. Only to see you back again on Z Connect Season Six.